Welcome back to Modern Masters, Hispanic American Artisans. It's believed the art of mosaic dates at least as far back as the third century BC, when ancient Greeks used colored pebbles to create designs in walls and floors. Today, many mosaics are made of glass or tile instead of pebbles. But this timeless art is helping Oscar Alvarado see the big picture in modern life. San Antonio, Texas is a city that takes pride in its Spanish roots, as does mosaic artist Oscar Alvarado. Oscar is a seventh generation San Antonian. His family has lived in this part of Texas for more than 200 years. My great, 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 great grandfather came over here from Corsica. He came to the New World. He was an indentured servant. and. He worked his way to freedom, became a merchant here in San Antonio in 1777. Now, Oscar is leaving his own mark on San Antonio by creating beautiful mosaics in his clients' homes. I wasn't much for puzzles because it was already there. Anybody could put them together. Oscar discovered his calling as a mosaic artist only after he tried to fit into a high-paying corporate career. I made about $20,000 one month. I was selling computer systems, and the next month I only made about half that. And my boss asked me if I was serious about my work anymore. I went home that night and pondered it, and I decided that I wasn't serious, and that's not what I wanted to do. A decade later, this is Oscar's work and his passion. He's been commissioned to design and install a mosaic in the entryway of a client's new home. Oscar begins by sketching his abstract design on the concrete floor. That's pretty much it. Now I gotta just do is cut the tile. Oscar has chosen to work with a palette of ceramic and marble tile in shades of burnt orange, blue, gray, and white. He needs about 6,000 hand-cut pieces to complete his intricate design. Cutting that tile, forming it, shaping it into the size and shape of pieces that I want for each mosaic, that's the most difficult part. The shapes may seem arbitrary, but Oscar is carefully cutting each piece to fit into a specific place in the design. And this one, I cut them all with trapezoidal shapes. And when you put them all together, they make your curves. There we go. This is going to make up what is going to be the ribbon, one of the two ribbons that wrap around as a border. With all the pieces cut and sorted by color, Oscar begins the demanding task of laying out the mosaic. He works with his nippers, using the contours he creates to paint the gentle curves of his design. Sometimes I'm trying to nip a specific piece for a mosaic and it doesn't really fit right, so I just gotta start all over again. Next thing you know, that same piece fits somewhere else. But as soon as a section is painstakingly put into place, Oscar does the unthinkable. He pulls the design apart. The first layout is only a practice run. Oscar must reassemble the mosaic from memory and cement it into place with mortar. The mortar dries quickly, giving Oscar just one chance to fit each tile into its proper place. This is not for the faint of heart. It's time to make commitments at this point. You only have five to 10 minutes to work with it. So that's a lot of pressure, is to fill everything where you've set the mortar with tile. But it will be another three days before the tiny pieces of the mosaic are unified as a single work of art. The mortar must dry completely before Oscar can add the final touch. Ready for grout. 
He mixes a fresh batch of grout, which becomes the structural and artistic glue that holds the mosaic together. Some people have doubts before it's grouted. They still see it as all the thousands of pieces that it is. And then when the grout comes in, it, it smooths it out, it brings it together. As the grout fills in the tiny spaces, Oscar's mosaic is finally revealed. When I quit my corporate job, I felt as if I had been given a key to, to what it might be to be successful. I was making good money, but what I was lacking was really a heart or a, a reason to be doing what I was doing. Voila! With his heart in his work, Oscar has found new ways to measure success. And he's discovered where he fits in the mosaic of his family's history in San Antonio. When we continue, branches pulled from a river bring echoes of the past into the home. But first, 